Okay, you're going to want to pay attention to my case very closely because I'm going to be suing that lawyer either uh, by myself with my evidence, okay, uh, or with another attorney on the grounds of racism as well as legal malpractice, okay, because the lawyer should know that the moment this, the case begins, it starts to depreciate. Now, the more you intentionally wait to file, okay, first of all, you're sending a message to the defense team that, hey, this isn't so important. It isn't that, you know, it's it's not that serious, okay? And when you're wishy-washy and things like that, they're going to say, oh, fuck it. And you're not, over a period of time, you're going to say, hey, well, you know, when you think you want to offer something, then we can maybe talk about in the future. Maybe. These guys are not going to take you seriously. Now, all the while, while you're being wishy-washy, what's happening to the wound? It's healing. So you're going to have less bargaining power at the negotiation table. Now, even though you're meeting the statute of limitations requirements as an attorney, it's still damaging for the client. In my case, it's me. Okay, it's it's not working in the best interest of the client because you're supposed to attack while it's still hot. Okay, while the wound is still open so that you're sending a message to the defense team that you're very serious about it. It's a very serious injury that required surgery and that it should be taken seriously and demand the highest amount that you can at that particular time. Instead of waiting, being wishy-washy, and sending out a message to these guys that, hey, this is not that important. Because you have to take into account also the needs of the client, financial needs. You're going to be out of work. Maybe the client was already out of work. Either way, you're spending money. You have a strong need for money. Loans, they're going to be loans. All these things in the economy, that is going to affect how much you can actually bargain for at the bargaining table and how soon you get to the bargaining table when you start talking about how soon you file. Okay, it's sending a certain message. Okay, that you're serious about the case, that you're not about bullshit. But the message that this attorney sent to these guys was that, hey, this guy is not important. It's a black guy. Fuck him. And we're going to put him in the back burner. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to come after your ass for discrimination. Okay, legal malpractice. Okay, and when you're blacklisted, when you're online and other people, potential clients, see what type of dirty lawyer you are, okay, you're going to see what profound effect it has on your case. And that's even before it even gets to the criminal side of it, okay, you know damn well what I'm talking about. I won't make one mention about the military. At this point, let's say that it's irrelevant. I'll play devil's advocate, but I'll still get the devil.